Welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. Welcome to the BB Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. Hey guys, welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. I break down all things Big Brother. So as you know, we're still speculating. We're still waiting on CBS to confirm if there is, in fact, going to be a BB22. And if that BB2 is going to be an all-stars, a.k.a. returnees, a.k.a. a season thrown together of people that have played in the past, which is basically what we're going to get. So the rumors out there right now are all over the place. If you're on Big Brother Twitter, good luck trying to make sense of it all. Evil Dick is out there posting a lot of spoilers, but we also know Evil Dick likes to troll. But according to Evil Dick, Josh from BB19 is going to be on this season. And he's already calling people on the phone just like, you want to be on Alliance with me? Oh, you want to be on lines? I'll bring the pots and pans. You bring the strategy. There was even talk that Frankie Grande was going to return this season, but a lot of people are now reporting that Frankie Grande has turned down BB22. But what's he up to, you guys? Let's take a look. I only asked you to show me a real good time. I never asked for the rainfall. At least I showed up. You showed me nothing at all. It's coming down on me Water like misery It's coming down on me Okay, that's good. Good for you, Frankie. Keep that up. Twitch, wow, you can really just do anything on Twitch. That's amazing. Also in Big Brother news and gossip, you guys, I know you're not going to believe it. I know you're going to say, what? They didn't make it work, but Holly Beth 24 Wyoming and Jerkson the watermelon loving mama's boy who couldn't last on slop and hid food in the trash only to dig it out and cheat and all of a sudden we just had to get rid of slop in BB21 and we never addressed it? Didn't make it. They didn't make it. You guys, they broke up and they posted on social media all about it because of course we all want to know. And oh, it is tragic. And just months ago, they were TikToking with her dog that was also named Jackson, that poor dog. What that dog must have seen while they were living together in quarantine through the pandemic. Whew. If they have doggy therapy, Holly Beth's dog deserves it. Holly Beth put out a statement, Jerkson put out a statement on their social media. And of course, Holly Beth's statement read, I don't like to address this in public. I would rather this take place in private. Yes, Holly Beth, because every breakup you've ever had, we've basically known about. Your last breakup from your boyfriend from The Bachelor was also very public that you went on podcast to talk about it. So yes, you are a very private person about your breakup. And Jackson, AKA Jerkson, is out there on his social media being like, Halls, always love you. Not as much as watermelon or my mom or cheating or racism. But other than that, you're my number one girl. And Jackson turned 25. So of course he's gonna dump Polly Beth. He's 25, you guys. That means his car insurance went down. He's got more money to spend on the ladies. And it looks like that's what he's doing because he's spending his birthday in Las Vegas with Brett. Yes, BB20's Brett and Jerkson. They're just all abs and no substance out there partying in Vegas for Jerkson's 25th birthday. And now a dramatic reading of Holly Beth, 24, Wyoming's breakup post from Jerks and Mickey. I'd much rather keep certain life updates to myself, but I understand that I put my personal life in the spotlight because I chose to play a game last summer that just so happened to be on television. Full transparency, the publicity been weird to navigate, but so many of you have been immensely wonderful and supportive, and I appreciate you more than I think I can ever express. So for that, I feel like I owe you this. It's not easy, so please bear with me. Here goes. I'm in Wyoming with my horses and my dog, Jackson, wearing a sports bra and posing like everything's okay, but it's not. I added that part. A year ago, I started a wild new adventure. Today I start another adventure. Growth is sometimes hard but necessary. Growth sometimes happens alone and that's what I'll be doing. Yes, I've had the opportunity to meet a person, to conquer life with. For a while, during quarantine, when we were stuck and couldn't go anywhere for fear of dying and government mandate. And I wouldn't change the experiences for the world, but some things are not meant to go beyond that. Deep. Sometimes fundamental character traits simply don't line up. Sometimes men who like to yell at me and eat watermelon at the same time are just not character traits I want to put up with the rest of my life. This past year has been the hardest to date and has taught me about sense of self, 
security in who I am as a horse loving woman and what I want for my future, which is wine safaris and teeny dogs. <sighs> this is longer than I thought it was gonna be. Holy shit. I know I cannot compromise my own integrity. I know that I'm proud of myself, my accomplishments, Holly Allen, 24, Wyoming, and my roots, Wyoming, horses, dad, sisters, disappointment. I know the spirit and the inspiration that I look for in people I surround myself with. I know what I deserve, and I'm excited for this new chapter and where it will lead me, and it will not lead me to the challenge where there is nothing but horse. Right now, I'm hurting. But hey, pain is only temporary. Unless I find jerks in him. Never mind. Erase that last part. Erase it. All right, I'll keep it. You decide what I meant by that. Hashtag Holly Allen snapped Wyoming. Thank you all for going through the ups and downs with me. Oh, gosh, we didn't want to. We just, we didn't. Holly, Beth, we did not, but CBS made us. And please, I know we've been forced to go through this publicly, but we are human. We hurt, we bleed. Please try to spare the criticism. <laughs> That's all you two have asked for when you were constantly creating content for criticism, when you were constantly saying controversial things, when you were being dickheads in the house, you were asking for criticism. And don't worry. I'll always be Sahara's mom. Who the hell is Sahara? Nobody can take that away from me. Now buck up, future. Holly, Beth, Allen, you know who is coming for you. Whose bed have your boots been under? And who are you banging in Vegas? Jerks and I see it on your IG, baby. You blocked me, but I started a new account so I could follow you and Brett. You better not be banging on a stool. That's our thing, don't be a tool. Whose bed have your boots been under? Probably a whore from the challenge. Okay, so I did take a few liberties with that one, but I couldn't help myself. Big Brother 21 News, Jackson Mickey also posted to his social media recently, his Instagram, and he posted a full video of an apology where he says Black Lives Matter. Let's take a look. So I turned 25 this Saturday on June 13th, and over the past 24 years, I've made a lot of mistakes. And these past few weeks, these past posts, I've made a lot of mistakes. And it is my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being educated enough to understand that I will never understand what it's like to be African-American, to be a person of color, to be black in this country and in this world. I will never understand that, but I stand with you and I'm sorry. Black lives matter. He's still going. And I'm sorry. All right, a lot has changed from just a couple weeks ago when Jackson was on his social media posting All Lives Matter and now he's posting Black Lives Matter and he's apologizing. This surprises me. It surprises me to see Jackson say sorry that he was ignorant because this is the same Jackson that knew everything and was not sorry. And I'm wondering, like, what is it about this moment that makes him truly sorry? You know, because we want to believe as people that, like, you can change. And I do think people can change, but why now? You always got to think, what's happening now? Well, there's an all-star season. Sure, there's an all-star season coming up. Is Jackson on the all-star season? It's been speculated, but I highly doubt CBS would make that mistake twice, especially with the current state of the country. I do, however, think that a certain Mr. Jackson Mickey, who recently broke up with a girlfriend who was not okay with his future plans of going on MTV's The Challenge, may have seen that MTV is firing people for racist remarks. They just recently fired D, one of the cast members on this season currently airing of the challenge she got fired for. Racist remarks she made on Twitter regarding Black Lives Matter. So maybe Mr. Jackson Mickey is like, there's an opening and Holly Beth is gone. So I don't gotta worry about that. Okay, I can pack watermelon in my suitcase, but what am I missing? Oh shit, I gotta cover for my racism. So now he is reaching out on social media and Instagram being like, I realized that I've set myself up for possibly a career in reality TV. And if I wanna head over to the challenge and see what I can score, I mean, see if I can win, 
I'm going to have to apologize. So I think that this has nothing to do with BB All Stars because I don't think he has gotten that call. I think this has everything to do with future casting on the challenge. Now that he's single, jerks it out there. His six pack is back. He's hanging with Brett. He is ready to make that leap over to the challenge. MTV, please, MTV gods, don't let him on our TV sets anymore. I can't. I can't. I don't know if you guys can. But I can't. I think if we follow the signs and follow the clues, it all leads back to Jackson wants to be on the challenge. Speaking of racist, Mike Boogie is still at it. What is up with Mike Boogie? On a previous video, I broke down the whole breakup of Chill Town and Mike Boogie allegedly stalking Will Kirby, Dr. Will, and they're not friends anymore. And Boogie has come out recently on cameos that you can buy for $19, where he'll say, Dr. Will is not a good person. And really online, you can find orders of protection that Dr. Will had to file on Mike Boogie because he was allegedly threatening and harassing Dr. Will and like every family member he has, including his mother-in-law. So Mike Boogie keeps making these really disturbing comments about Black Lives Matter, about diversity on CBS. Let's take a look at what he has to say about diversity in casting for Big Brother. He's excited about returning players yeah. on, on Big Brother. Yeah, that, that's yeah. I mean, uh, there's a whole new wave and It'll be interesting. I think they'll probably end up with some bad people on there because there's going to be such a push for diversity. But hey, is that my indoor voice? Whoops, whoops. <laughs> All right. Okay, why does Mike Boogie keep making these comments and going, did I say that? Is that my inside voice? First of all, that doesn't even make any sense. Your inside voice? Of course it's your damn inside voice. You should have said, was I whispering? Did I say that out loud? Was that not in my head? He's on Johnny Fairplay's podcast and he keeps going, oops, oops, oops. What is, what is this? Why is he making these motions like a creepy grandma who can't stop farting? Like, I'm sorry kids, I tooted, tooted again. Why, what is happening, Mike Boogie? Okay, I know there's been a lot of speculation. He's obsessed with diversity on CBS and he's also obsessed with talking about Swaley and pretending he forgot their name. Check this out. Most of the speculation is coming from people Josh is calling and Evil Dick posting things on Twitter, which seems to be the most talked about discussion. I haven't seen either of them. Um, however, if we're looking for a couple, I'm seeing Tyler and Angela being floated all over the place a as, lot. The, as the new hot couple well, kind of step look, in. I would say, I would say, um, you know, those two are very interesting to me because I'm not a social media guy. I don't have any social media, any fans of your show watching. That's not me. <laughs> you know, I'm trying <laughs> to like lose people in my life, not gain them. But, um, I've always been a little particularly piqued my interest with them when I'm really, really bored. Um, they've done a good job in the, today's world of the, the couple doing the social media. And all. The, the couple, it's the, the, There's influencer, a lot of couple, the, the yeah. influencer couple. Yeah, they're, they're like what the two African Americans are trying to be. Um, uh, what are their names? Ba Swaggy C and Bailey. Yeah. Right, like they're, they're trying to do this whole like Jay-Z, Beyonce thing, but without the talent. <laughs> but without any talent and without yeah. any good performance on, on their season. So I find them interesting. Okay, first of all, you say you don't have a social media, you don't have a social media presence, yet it's even creepier that you know so much about Angela and Tyler's social media. Angela and Tyler, get a restraining order. Yes, it is really creepy that you're like, I don't have social media, I'm trying to lose friends, yet you're stalking people with social media accounts. Angela, Tyler, Swaggy, Bailey, why do you know how their social media presence is? Why do you know who's more successful on social media? If you're trying to lose people from your life, you're coming off like a stalker. So all these allegations are looking more and more true. Why are you obsessed with these young kids? You should be being more of like a grandpa to these kids, you know? Being like the, the grandpa that sits on the porch and goes, back in my day, you know, while you whittle something and giving them good advice. Why do you have to put them down? What is your obsession with Bailey and Swaggy? It's very, very disturbing, Mike Boogie. You've made many references to the two of them and it makes no sense because whether you like them or not, they're out there thriving. They're out there making money. They're still relevant. And also don't pretend you don't know their names and don't refer to them as the African-Americans. You remember their name. You can't keep their names out of your mouth. Go to your swimming pool and swim, Mike. Go to your tennis court, hit balls against wall, 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 wall. Mike Boogie, you get a boogie um, out of this party because you're not invited to the young kids party. 
anymore. You know, you got to find your own lane. You're supposed to find your own stuff. Like Dr. Will, go out there, be successful. And for the love of big brother, can you diversify your hat collection? Just like your hot takes on diversity, it's tired. They're like, retire me. Those hats need to be buried. That's that's the only time they look good. Speaking of creepy people, Gina Marie from BB15 has been posting some cryptic pictures of herself in flight with cryptic messages alluding to the fact that she's gonna get a second chance on what? Maybe Big Brother, because that's what's being talked about right now. Gina Marie, she was awful. I'm not gonna have Gina Marie back. And then thanks to the wonderful internet, someone did just a quick search on the picture Gina Marie posted and it was a stock photo, a stock airplane out the window photo. So she's that desperate and needy for attention and thirsty. She's a thirsty little thirst trap that she's like, I'm gonna post this. And you know, it's gonna be really cryptic. It's gonna be so funny. People are gonna think I was invited to All Stars and we're like, no. We didn't think you're invited to All Stars. We thought you were lost. We thought you were following Mike Boogie's footsteps and headed out to CBS to stalk them. And we wanted to warn them. So we did a little bit of research. Gina Marie, oh my gosh. And finally, you guys, Us Weekly is reporting as of today that Big Brother production, because you know they have all the, the inside scoop on it. They were the ones that were originally telling us that they heard from sources inside CBS that we were gonna have a returnee all-star season for BB22 and we all got excited and then we all started speculating nonstop because that's the fun in being a big brother fan is the speculation who's going to be in the cast is it going to be an all-star season every year we're like all-stars 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 and then it's just like one Paul with a beard that shows up or coaches but us weekly is now saying that their inside sources are telling them that the big brother start date has been pushed back it was supposed to be july 15th and they're pushing it back to july 22nd and maybe even later due to covid they'll have to quarantine all the returning players if they are returning players longer than they're normally left in sequester. I right now don't know if we are just all getting trolled by Big Brother and CBS and Us Weekly, but you know what? I don't even care. As long as I get to talk about Big Brother and hang out with all you awesome fellow fans of Big Brother, who cares? Right now we're basically just having our own Big Brother season, talking about old times, talking about new times, talking about the possibility and what Big Brother can be. So you guys, let me know in the comments everything all your thoughts that you think. Are you surprised that Jackson and Holly Beth broke up? Are you surprised at Mike Boogie's recent antics? Do you think Jackson's apology is merely because he wants to be on the next season of the challenge and realizes that MTV has taken a stand against racism, so he fears that his past on Big Brother 21 may be a deterrent for him getting cast on the show now that he's single and his watermelon abs are ready to mingle. He's like, don't wait up for me, mom. Pack me extra watermelon. I'm going to need the energy. Also, if you guys want to watch Big Brother right now, Big Brother Australia is currently airing. It's a little different from Big Brother US, but it is worth the watch. And I am covering it every Thursday on Nerdtainment's channel. I will put a link for their channel in the description. Sarah from Nerdtainment and myself, we break down the week's episodes every Thursday at 6.30 Pacific. So you should join us live and we can talk about Big Brother Australia. If you're like, Jillian, how do I watch Big Brother Australia? I'm in the US or I'm in Canada or I'm here or I'm there. Here's how you watch Big Brother Australia. There's two ways. One is getting a VPN. I have a VPN, I have the HMA, it's the Hide My Ass VPN. It works and that's how I'm able to watch it. Also, you can find some on YouTube, if you search BB Australia 2020, it'll take you to certain accounts that then have links for Daily Motion where they post the episodes. Now, I'm not saying you should do that, and I'm not promoting that at all. I'm just saying that exists. So it's like me reporting like a Katie Couric or a Diane Sawyer or a Robin Robinson, you know, just putting it out there, those are facts. So what you choose to do with those facts is up to you. BB Australia has some wonderful aspects 
in it that Big Brother US used to have, like food comps. BB Australia, they put them on rations and then they have to do comps to get more money to buy extras. I feel like, and I'll do a separate video about this so we can talk about this at a different time, but we have been far too easy on our Big Brother players recently. Nowadays, they're just like, I want more M&Ms, and then they give them giant bags of M&Ms, like I can only eat fresh water, non-scaled cubic zirconia, vegan, grass-fed salmon fillets, and then they give them all these salmon fillets, and half of them go bad, or the ants that always fill the house every summer, and or rats, end up eating it. So let's go back to the days of food comps. Let's ration their food a little bit more. This isn't supposed to be vacation. This is a game show. You guys are supposed to be competing. You're supposed to mess with their sleep, mess with their food, make it more fun. We'll talk about that in another video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe, because what does it hurt? I also have a goal of getting to 10,000 subscribers in 2020. You guys almost have me up to 8,000 subscribers. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you for getting it and allowing me to be snarky and fun and silly about our favorite obsession, Big Brother. I will see you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye. My husband's singing end of the road, but he's singing the wrong words. It's adorable. I can hear him in the kitchen. I think he's gonna keep going. Must be a longer rendition I've never heard of.